guys, you're on the Outdoor Life channel, where we do some cool stuff. What's up guys, this is Corson, coming to you from beautiful Northern California. And today, I'm out with Bobcat, who you cannot see because he is in the shadows. Hello. There's Bobcat from uh, Bobcat in the Woods, his dog Jade, my dog April, and we are on the very top of a mountain right now. What are we at, like 6,500 feet or so? 65, 6,700 feet, somewhere around in there. Uh, you can tell there's a little bit of snow, there'll be some more snow drifts right over there. Um, right over the peak, there is a lake, kind of nestled right on the back side of the mountain. We are going to try to see if we can make it there. The sun really doesn't shine on the other side, so we'll see. Um, you may notice I'm wearing a different shirt, and that is the definition of a farmer's tan right there. I'm trying to get rid of my farmer's tan. So. Okay, I will see you guys later. Okay guys, so on the way up, I found these on the side of the road seats out of some sort of car. Bobcat thinks it might be a Volkswagen. I really have no idea what they're from, but it's kind of neat. There were two of them. I just had to get them. I really don't know what I'm going to use them for or if I'm even going to use them, but maybe I'll use them. So yeah. Okay guys, so we're part of the way up and look at this. This is the back side or one of the sides of the mountain see just how far down it goes right there the peak of the mountain which is pretty much right there and it's a little bit higher right over there but pretty much right there is about 7,000 feet above sea level and then go to the other side and we have that you can see that's a long way down there that's clouds covering a valley I live down there so we got a Look out over there. Can't tell if there's somebody in there or not. We forgot to bring binoculars. But it looks like, the camera's not going to pick it up, but it looks like there's a little cross right at the tip of that hill. So maybe we'll go check that out. But anyway, I love where I live. It is so beautiful here. If you have not been to the mountains of Northern California, you have to. It is gorgeous. All right, well, we'll update you when we get up a little farther. Okay guys, so we made it pretty much to the top of that hill. Um, as you can see right down there, see if I can zoom it in a little. Pretty much right there is where we were standing. We have climbed in elevation pretty significantly. And there is a cross here. Looks pretty old. And you probably can't read it, but it says in memory of Betty J. Funk and Wayne C. Funk, 1919, 1984, and 1918 to 1999, with love from family and all whose lives they touched. That's been up here a while. You can definitely tell the wood is, you know, kind of split. Got a big old pile of rocks holding it in. So I'm kind of surprised it has stayed here through all those snowstorms. So, all right, well, I got to finish getting to the top and get a picture of the lake. Okay, guys, so I was wrong. This ridge goes to a big cliff. I have to go over that ridge. Probably pretty hard to see, but uh, more walking. Okay guys, so we finally reached the peak. Um, way down there, I don't even know if you can see it. There it is. That is the lake we're going to. So we've got a pretty long walk and there's some pretty good snow drifts over there. I'm, I know it looks pretty small from this angle, but in all reality, it's about six feet deep, all those snow drifts. So, uh, we're gonna try to go around this way and scale down that, and we'll see if we're able to make it, especially with the two dogs. We'll see, it's a lot of shale. Uh, yeah. But as you can see over there, that is nothing but granite. That is very, very pretty. So. We have walked a very long way. We started right there, and we are all the way over here. 
Okay guys, so we're a little bit farther down the hill. Uh, we came to the peak, we're able to look down on the lake. This is all of that snow that I was pointing out. It is actually deeper than it looks. We have just come down that. Um, the hill curves like this, so you can't even see the top of the hill right now. But we've come down, what do you say, Bobcat? Probably like 200 yards or so down the hill? Something like that. Something like that, yeah. But the problem is some of the times we just had to kind of slide from drift to drift. You know, slide, get on top of the drift and slide down to the next open area. We don't have any ice picks. We don't have any, you know, those like spike things for our shoes. So we may not be able to get back up here. So town is way down there. We may have to kind of take this valley and go that way because we may not be able to get back up. Who knows? We may even have to spend the night out here, but that's what your survival pack is for. So let's go down to the lake, see if we see any fish. Okay guys, so we finally made it to the lake. As you can see, it's a beautiful little alpine lake right here. And last time me and Bobcat were here, we actually saw a big old trout swimming around in this. So as you can see, we climbed that. Um, with the amount of snow that we had coming down, we may or may not be able to make it back up that way. You know, we might be able to climb up this way and scale the ridge line, but we've got snow on the ridge line. So I, I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do. We may try to go up that way or we may just kind of follow the canyon on down. Um, who knows, we may even spend the night out here. Just kind of uh, on the spot, hey, you know, let's spend the night. Who knows? But anyway, uh, Bobcat brought some fishing line. Let's see if we can make a, a bushcraft fishing pole and throw a line in the water. Okay guys, so we decided we were gonna go ahead and drink some uh, apple cider and I think uh, Bobcat has some uh, hot chocolate or something. So we made us a little fire. I don't know if you can really see it very well. There you go. We made us a little fire. Um, we've actually, let me get up and show you. We have really nice rock benches, and it's perfect when you sit down in it. You can stretch your feet out, cross your feet, keep your boots toward the fire. It's it's perfect. I don't know if you can see me because of the lighting, but it's, it's kind of reclined. It's very, very nice. So, after we drink our warm liquid, and uh, Bobcat's gonna eat a little something, get, get some carbs in us, we are going to head back up the hill and hopefully we get to the truck before dark. If not, uh, yeah, we're in a bit of pickle. Okay guys, so we had our uh, cider and hot chocolate. Um, now, one thing, very important, always put your fire out. So this is 40 ounces. I've already done one whole bottle. Uh, it, literally, it probably doesn't even need any more. But always put your fire out all the way because you want to be able to come back here and it still be beautiful and not all burnt out. So put your fire out. Okay guys, so we're up a ways. That is the lake right next to it. Pretty much right there is where we had our campfire and we were all the way up here, but we still have a ways to go. I'm going to say in elevation, we are one third of the way there. Um, but in actual distance, we're probably about halfway. So yeah, it's about to get gnarly. Um, and we're going to have some snow drifts to cross. Yeah, we'll see how that works. Yeah, we, we'll see how that works. We may have to, uh, have one person go up and have another person right behind stay at the bottom of the drift ready to catch them if they start sliding down the hill but this will be fun okay guys so we're a little bit higher up uh, you can see the lake is all the way down there so bobcat is way up there i don't know if you can see him or not um he is he dropped his pack right here and he's just going on up there, scouting it out, see if this is a good spot, because we may have to walk all the way down to there, and then across, and then maybe we'll have better luck getting up, but this snow is nothing but ice, and if we start sliding on it, we're, we're going all the way down. 
and we don't want to do that, so. Well guys, we've made it. We finally reached the top of the hill. You can see way down there is the lake. Way over there is the tower and where we parked the truck. See, we parked the truck like right in and around in there. And we are here, so we still have a good long walk. But that is the actual summit. But we thought about hiking that, but there's no way the dogs could do that. So, yeah, this is beautiful up here. I can see miles and miles and miles. Yeah, it, it is just beautiful. We'll have to come up here again. Okay, I better get off this so the wind doesn't blow me off and I fall down and die. Okay guys, so we have almost done it. Um, I don't know if you recognize this or not, but this is what we were headed up. There's actually that old cross is at the top of this right here. So, right in the these trees is where the truck is parked. We're almost there. I am so excited to be able to sit down on a seat and then go home and have some lunch. It's uh, 4.37 and I have not had lunch. So I'm definitely interested in getting that. Okay guys, so we made it back to the truck, finally. Um, Jay, or, uh, April has a little cut on her paw. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just head right on home, let her relax, and uh, me eat some lunch. So, it is 4.51 right now. So, it took us two and a half hours or so, which is not that bad. We were kind of expecting a four to five hours. So, yeah, doing good. All right. Okay, guys, so we're on our way down the hill, and my truck has broke. If you look right in here at this shock, can you hear that? That shock is very, very loose. And it's at the very top, it's like the, at the very top, it's like the mount. Yeah, the uh, big washer part is missing. I'm just gonna have to drive very, very, very slowly on the way down and try not to hit any bumps. So, 